Hey guys, what's up? Ryan Winchester here coming at you guys with another video today. There's going to be two videos that are going to be up on the channel today. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Happy Tuesday. Uh, we are now almost two weeks away from Christmas. It's crazy, man. It's approaching so fast and we're getting closer to the end of the year. Yo, boy is ready, man. I'm ready for, for, for Christmas again. Christmas is uh, one of the most exciting times of the entire year. One of the best seasons. One of the best holidays, I mean. Um, so, here we go. Um, the topic that we're talking about today is none other than CM Punk. So, we are on Wrestling Recap. This is part number two, or episode two, whatever you want to call it. Because this is a, considered like a new series now. Um, if you didn't watch the first episode with my boy Gio, G Money, go check it out. I will put the link in the description box down below so you can go all check, all go check it out. Uh, and we will, ex we are literally explaining everything as far as like how the series is working. So that we just started it last week. This is episode two. Um, Gio will, will be with me for the next video. Um, but until then, um, uh, here you go. All right, so what do I want to talk about CM Punk? Well, CM Punk is the fucking headline of all sources right now. Ever since making his return to the WWE in almost 10 fucking years, fam, CM Punk has just been brought up so many damn times. Like, I have, I can't even count. The little kid inside me fucking erupted. I jumped out of my fucking chair when CM Punk's music hit. When those static effects went off, I'm like, nah, bro, there's no fucking way. Because, man, so many people were teasing it for the longest time. Yeah, Punk's coming back, Punk's coming back, Punk's coming back. And you know what? I kept saying, like, I don't know, man. It's a hit or miss now. But then when he got fired from AEW, I was like, all right, you know what? There is a possibility that he could end up returning at Survivor Series because Survivor Series took place in chicago so i was like ah man i'm really really hoping that he does show up and if he doesn't it's gonna be a huge disappointment it's gonna be a huge letdown but what happened motherfucker shows up so not only did we get randy orton who's by the by the way is one of my fucking favorite wrestlers of all time one of my favorite people i've seen uh wrestling growing up um i started watching wrestling Right when uh, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, and John Cena all came around. Right at the same exact time. They all debuted in 2002, which is crazy. So that's well over like 22 years, which is insane. Um, but regardless, so CM Punk comes back to the WWE first time in almost 10 fucking years, man. We're talking a whole fucking decade, bro. Holy shit. This just goes to tell you, never say never. Because... Holy fuck, man. Absolutely fucking mind blown. What a fucking moment it was to see Punk back in the WWE. I was just ecstatic. I was so fucking happy, man. And now I'm just looking back at it. I'm like, wow. Look at all the fucking dream matches. Look at all the new feuds. Look at all the fresh new fucking storylines that WWE is going to be producing for us in 2024, man. Holy shit. It's just amazing overall, and I'm so fucking hyped. I'm so excited to see Punk back right where he left off when he left almost 10 years ago. So, um, now if there's one person that's not happy about Punk being back, we all know who it is. Seth freaking Rollins, the world heavyweight champion, who, by the way, has been having a dominant world title reign. Man has been a fucking fighting champion, has held the title for well over six months now. Maybe more than that. But holy fuck, man. Rollins has just been kicking ass as world heavyweight champion. Even with a fucked up back, man. Holy. My God. Like, the matches he's had, man. Just like last week, his match with Jey Uso. Holy shit. What a fucking banger, man. Those guys fucking killed it. That was one of the Jey, that was one of Jey Uso's best fucking matches to date, man. As a singles competitor. Wow. Then you have Rollins and McIntyre of Crown Jewel. Amazing. Fucking loved every single bit of it. That was by far the best match of the entire show. Um, 
You have Rollins and Balor feuding. You had Rollins and Nakamura. Oh my god, like there was just so many fucking good matches that we saw out of this world title ring from Seth freaking Rollins. And it's not over yet, man. Because I have a good fucking feeling that Punk's name is going to be in that picture pretty soon, man. Especially with the Royal Rumble around the corner. We will only... We will only tell. Time will only tell. And we will see what will happen. Um, so, if there's like something that particularly I want to talk about, about for CM Punk, it's the fact that you know, that now that he's back, we got to really see what WWE has in store for Punk. Because... I'm sure this came out as a huge surprise to everybody that he's back after being gone for so long. But a lot of people are happy to see him back. And then there's just some that are just not happy to see him at all. And then you got the AEW fucking people that are just like, you know, some are happy for him. Other ones are like, oh, man, like, why would you do that to us? Fuck you. You know, you had a good run with the company. <laughs> Thought that was like a stab in a stab in the back, betrayal. I'm like, nah, man. Punk's exactly where he needs to be. Punk is back home, right back in the WWE. So this is exactly where he needs to be. Uh, I could just think of all the fucking dream matches that Punk could have. Punk versus Rollins. Punk versus Reigns. Punk versus Balor. Punk versus Owens. If you have some NXT stars, you could have Punk versus Hayes. Punk, or Carmelo Hayes. Punk versus Carmelo Hayes. You could have Punk versus uh, Tyler Bate. I think that'd be a kick-ass match. You could have uh, Punk versus Ilya Dragunov. I think that would fucking kick ass. There's so many fucking good matches that we could possibly see. Oh my god, man. I'm like so excited. And then you can probably see another Punk and Randy Orton match some, somewhere down the line. Uh, those guys had some kick-ass fucking matches back in the day. I mean, I could just keep going on and on and on. But if there's one fucking match that I'm very looking forward to with CM Punk being back, it's CM Punk versus Seth freaking Rollins. Because you're looking at two of the fucking greatest wrestlers of all time. You had the best in the world, CM Punk, and then you have the world heavyweight champion, the most dominant world heavyweight champion, a kick-ass fighting champion in Seth freaking Rollins. So just think about it, man. Like... I could just think of the story these guys are going to tell together and the, the promos leading up to this, the matches. Oh my God, man. Like I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so excited to see this really, really kick in now that Punk, that Punk is back. Um, it makes me wonder what Seth is, uh, is going to be doing with uh, Punk being back because now that, uh, now that Punk, you know, came in, and he's back where he where he belongs. Seth is not a happy camper. There were uh, videos on social media, specifically on Twitter, on Facebook, some Instagram heels, uh, where Punk, um, Punk Rollins was at a live event, and I guess uh, he was booing Punk or something. There was or like there was some CM Punk chants or whatever, and Rollins was just booing the hell out of it. Rollins just didn't want any of any bit of it. And then um, right at Survivor Series, when Punk came out, there was a video of, of Seth Rollins flipping off CM Punk. And I'm like, eh, I don't really think that's, uh, I don't think that's real, fam. I think that's part of a storyline just so these guys can get their feud going. I don't think they actually have real life beef with each other. And if they do, oh my God, let them fucking go all, go all in. But I don't think it's working that way. I think this is just for storyline purposes. So if that's one way to get a, a rivalry going between CM Punk and Seth Rollins, and so be it. Um, now, there is something as well. Uh, you know, with Punk being in AEW, Punk was in AEW for about almost two years. He did have some good matches. He was the world heavyweight champion twice, I believe, but... And never really, he never really had the momentum that he, that they gave him when he was the champion of AEW because he just, he fell flat, he got hurt, fucked up his ankle, he was gone for a little bit, came back, and then he, he, he brought in the, the real world championship, which is basically the replica AEW title with an X symbol in the middle spray painted. And like that went on for a, like a good amount of months while it while it was there. It was fun while it lasted, but I mean, 
really not much happened. I think, the, like, the only thing we got out of it was just a freaking kick-ass feud with Ricky Starks. That was about it, and that, like, nothing really else happened afterwards. Um, had Punk stayed in AEW, I mean, I don't really know if they would have kept the whole real-world title storyline in it. I'm not sure, but, uh, I mean, a lot of people were liking it. I was liking it, but overall, I mean, I don't know, man. I know that I look back at it, like... <sighs> Punk, Punk he, had, he did have some good-ass matches in AEW. I loved his matches with Heyman, Adam Page, Eddie Kingston, MJF, John Moxley, you name it. Then you had CMFTR uh, against the House of Black. You had CMFTR against a bunch of other guys. I think they fought the Elite at 1.2. So, I mean, like, Punk, he, 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 he did kick gas while he was in AEW. But uh, me personally, like, and I'm sure everybody else agrees, like, now that CM Punk is back in WWE, he's going to be even better than where he once was before. Because now we just got Punk fresh, coming out of AEW, ready to get back to where he was at previously. And just, he's ready to get his fucking feet wet, man. And I can't wait to see it. Now, the main topic is, which brand is he joining? Well, I already know. Because I saw Raw, but I'm not going to say anything yet. Uh, mainly because I want to talk about it with Gio when he's here later on today. Or later on tonight, rather. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to make this a, a short one. I know the last one was about, like almost 25 minutes long. So, I wanted to make this pretty short. Just wanted to get my thoughts about CM Punk overall being back in the WWE. It's... It's been fun, man, while he was in AEW, like I said. But this is really, really exciting. I can't wait to see what happens next with CM Punk, man. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what are your thoughts about Punk being back in the WWE for after being gone for almost 10 years. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? What kind of dream feuds do you want to see? What are the dream matches that we hope to see potentially down the line uh, next year in 2024 coming up? And also... What is, if you can, if you guys can give me one specific CM Punk match that made you a CM Punk wrestling fan, I want you to tell me in the comments down below what match made you a fan of CM Punk. It doesn't have to be from his modern days in AEW, it doesn't have to be from his early days in WWE, it could be freaking ECW, man. What is the one match that made you a CM Punk fan? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to look through every single one of them. And then I'll probably give uh, personally one of my favorites as well. Um, if I'm just going to name one right off the back, I think personally for me, I'm going to go back to his early ECW days. I loved his match with Johnny Nitro. Um, well, Johnny Nitro, I, I don't know if he was still called Johnny Nitro when he was on ECW or if he was John Morrison. I believe he was John Morrison. But... John Morrison as ECW champion when he fought CM Punk on that one episode of ECW in the main event, those two kicked ass. That alone instantly made me a CM Punk fan. And then since then, man, from him being from Chicago, like you already know, fam. You already know. Punk is legit. Punk is nobody you want to fuck around with. And Punk is so damn good in the ring. Like, come on. Just the, the fucking music overall. This man has never had one bad theme song. Not one single song of his has been bad. And he really hasn't had much songs to begin with. But let's just be honest. Like, CM Punk has, have, has had, like, amazing theme songs to come out to. This Fire Burns by Killswitch Engage. And then you have the classic Cult of Personality by Living Color. And now he's coming out to the remastered version of Cult of Personality. I think that's fucking great. I love how they kept that with him. And they didn't give him a, a lackluster, like, Def Rebel theme. No, man, he deserved to come back to that. Just like how Cody Rhodes came in and came back from the WWE with Kingdom. I think that was fantastic. And I love, I just love the fucking enthusiasm. I love the energy the crowd brings in when Cody Rhodes comes out. I'm losing track here, but I just wanted to mention that too. So overall, I'm going to stop rambling on. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Ryan Winchester. Again, let me know your favorite CM Punk fans down in the comments down below, which made you the CM Punk fan that you are today. And uh, I will see you guys later on this evening with my good friend G-Money. You know him as Giovanni. So 
Until then, uh, we'll see you all later. Have a great day, y'all.